Hello good people, welcome to Crane Food Service Solutions. I'm Chef Robbie Hooker. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Alto Sham Converge Multi-Cook Oven. Please remember that all trainings in this video are superseded by the owner's manual. So the first thing we wanna do, we're going to power up the unit. Simply press and hold the power button and the unit will now come on. Auto preheat, so I have mine on auto preheat. So when I turn the oven on, it'll automatically preheat. If you wanna turn that off, you can and do it manually. We're gonna start preheating. I have these chambers set 250, 350, 450. You can cook it in each chamber 50 degrees above that preset temp or 50 degrees below that preset temp. So you have a 100 degree variance within the chamber as well. Let's say uh, it's a slow day, I only wanna use one chamber. I can easily just stop the other two from heating up. Now just one chamber will get hot. Or let's say I wanna use two chambers. I'm gonna hit the preheat button and maybe I'll turn off the bottom one. You'll always wanna use the top one though because heat rises. So start using the top one and work your way down. If you're not gonna use one, start at the bottom and work your way up, so. So one of the things that makes the Converge Multi-Cook oven so unique is that we can actually steam, combi cook, and convect cook all at the same time in different chambers. We'll go up here to our recipe book and I'm gonna cook a hot dog with convection. Then I'm gonna come here, and let's say I'm gonna cook popcorn chicken. I'm using combi, then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna steam some broccoli. So you'll see I'm steaming, I'm combi cooking, and I'm convec cooking. You can also get probes with your converge oven, and simply, they're removable. All probes, Altosham are removable, and you'll see here are the connectors. You will simply plug in the probe. It'll be already in, be in your product. And then we can cook. Converge also has a water hose. If we need water, if we want to spray out the unit, there's some food particles in there, or if we just need water. So with the hose, when you pull it out, you'll want to, it's like an air hose at a gas station. You want to pull it and let it go. Once it locks in place, it will now spray water. If it's not locked in place, it will not spray water. And to disengage, I simply give it a quick pull and then let it reel back in like so. So you'll see that when something is done, there's a lot going on telling you that it's finished. The lightsaber lights up, the chamber light starts flashing, it starts beeping, and then you've got a hand here in the green bar saying, hey, I'm done, okay? Simply open the door, we'll remove the product, close it and continue cooking. You'll notice now we have these green spinning arrows. That's a repeat button. So if I'm cooking the same thing over and over again, instead of going to the recipe book, all I have to do now is hit the spinning arrows and I'm gonna cook in hot dogs again. We can go to the hamburger icon on the screen for settings. You'll see I have a lot of different choices. We have manual cooking, which is the screen we were just on, recipe library. This has all the recipes that are loaded onto the machine. From the recipes, you can also delete recipes if you would like. You can create a recipe. You can start with convection, combi, steam, and then we have action modes as well. Or we can duplicate, copy a recipe if we like. All of these can be done with the deluxe controls online or on your phone. We have your HACCP data, your hazard analysis, critical control points. They're all captured. You'll see the items we've been cooking, the dates and times, and then the temperatures. Service for your service technicians, where they can enter their codes. We have our settings. From our setting screens, we can pick how we want them set up. I have these set as recipes right now. I can switch that to different options. Recipes, manual cook, main menu, or category. I'm gonna to go to manual cook. Language, temperature, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Replay button. This allows you to cook the same food over and over again without having to go to the recipe library. Here are our chamber preset temperatures, 450, 350, and 250. Your cleaning settings. You can set a cleaning frequency, 
It tells you when it was last cleaned. We have our date and times. Sounds and alerts. So volume, light brightness, screen brightness, the handle light. Then we have our system backup and updates. So you can see we can back up settings to a USB, restore, download recipes to a USB, upload recipes from a USB. We can update system software. We have security locks. So now we have a lot more control. We can lock recipe editing. We can lock manual cooking where you can only use recipes. We can lock the setting screen so you can't get into these settings. And then you can also auto screen lock. Then we have our network. So this is on Wi-Fi. Software updates are automatic. I can do a lot of changes with this deluxe control on Wi-Fi from my cell phone, from my laptop, edit recipes, add recipes, delete recipes. I can run reports, I can look at my HACCP data, lots of different options I have. And the help screen has all the toll-free numbers for customer service, as well as the website. And info. The info is going to have your model number, your serial number, all of your firmware versions. Your serial number is also located inside the door, as well as the model number. This icon is for the light inside. Simply press the button, you'll see the LED lights will light up the inside. You have great visibility to see your product. And to turn it off, you just do the same thing. Press that button, and then we'll turn off. We have a lock screen. If I want to lock the screen, I just hit it. Now the screen is locked. It'll tell you to unlock. I hit the lock and either slide it up to the unlock or slide it down to the unlock. Now when we're done with the unit, we'll simply turn it off, press down the power button, and then you'll notice shut down. Please open the door and wait until the chambers are cold. When it cools down, we'll want to open the door so it can get that cold air in there to cool down faster. Once it's cooled down, it'll shut off and then you can close the door. For the cleaning, we'll pick our cleaning cycle that we want to do, say a light clean. Once the oven is cooled down, we will then be able to add our non-caustic oven cleaner. We just simply pull the tab. These are the tablets, okay? And then I'll simply, however many tablets it calls for, put in each chamber, close the door, cleaning, and I'll hit light cleaning, and then it'll let me start to clean. Thanks for joining us at Crane. I hope this helped. And if you need any other information or help, please reach out to your Crane rep. Take care.